Good evening, fine folks. This is Elmer and David coming to you again. It's February 17th today, uh, 2021, and I just want to do a quick video on what I'm doing or trying to do for keeping stuff cool this summer. Because it's been a bit of a battle. Generally what I do, I think I've explained this before in some of my videos, is I will basically go to the store, buy blocks of ice for four dollars a bag or four fifty a bag and I'll fill up um, a cooler put three in the bottom and I buy meat every day or every second day and it lasts okay and I put my vegetables on top and my meat and all that stuff but it doesn't last long um, last year so my second winter here second winter here I did this, which I did again. It's a freezer, um, and basically, it's filled up with water and it's frozen now. That's where I'm keeping my bread. Um, unfortunately, this only lasted. I thought it was going to last a lot longer, to be honest with you, but it only lasted. Um, the ice melted by about the first of June, early June. Um, it didn't last too long. Yeah, I am. Anyway, so I had to come up with a new system. So I'm going to show you what I kind of got, uh, kind of got going. So basically, what I got cooking here now. Um, see these? I guess these blocks of ice that I built. Um, what I do? Sorry, bad footage. What I do is I fill these Tupperware containers with water. I have 14 of them, and they freeze takes like two days and minus 20 to freeze them all the way through it's about minus uh, it was minus 34 this morning celsius and now it is minus i guess about 8 10 something like that and it's supposed to get warmer as uh, the week progresses so i wanted to get this stuff done um i'm actually this is my last batch the uh the system i have is is full so i have other videos and and photos of what this is under here and it's a building it's a three by five building um, by five feet high. Uh, it was a it was an old uh, fish shack actually. Um, and what I've done is converted it to uh, kind of like an above ground cellar. So there's you'll see it in the pictures. There's actually 40 bales of straw all around that building. Um, it's supposed to give me quite a high R value. If you look in here, you can see the the straw these are the walls of it um that's the little building inside there's about 60 bags in there right now of of ice um individually so i still haven't decided whether or not i'm gonna use this as a refrigerator you know open and close it every day and keep food in here that would be you know an eventual thing or if i'm just gonna take the bags out and put them in the bottom of the cooler which is in the fridge um unpowered uh, to provide ambient um, cold air so that it keeps my food cold. This would be preferable. I could keep larger quantities of meat in here. Um, but we're going to see how it goes. This is kind of a little brainchild I came up with. Uh, sawdust is supposed to be an excellent insulator for ice. So I kind of thought that I would try it out and combine a few different ideas. So this is what's in here. I know it's hard to see. And it's just a lot of bags of ice in a building surrounded by straw. Um, what I am going to do though, because I want to make this uh, um, a little bit better, is I have these tarps on here right now, and I'm going to uh, cover this with dirt. That's it. I'm going to cover this with dirt. I'm going to plant grass seed on it, uh, put some uh, chicken litter out here that's, um, you know, some of the chicken manure. I'm going to use that as the fertilizer and basically try and make this an above ground ice cellar and see how it works. I'm hoping it'll it'll work okay. I'm just gonna run through the process with you quickly of what I do. So basically, I freeze the water in these Tupperwares. Once they're frozen, they get dumped out. I come over here, I double bag in this bucket. I do wood shavings, tape it all up tight, put it in the, I'll do a quick demonstration kind of of what we do. I hope you can see everything and set my camera up here as best I can for you guys okay bag one it's the normal standard household garbage bag 
beautiful night. I'm just going crazy. Killed his first squirrel the other day. Um, little Elmer. And uh, yeah, he's been kind of pumped ever since. Kind of felt bad for the squirrel, to be honest. But it has been getting into a lot of stuff and it's been pooing on everything. Elmer just didn't like him. Finally got him. So yes, double bag inside the bucket. Boom, boom, super easy. Take about three metfuls of these uh, cedar shavings supplied by our local um, feed store. Coffee, nothing happens around here without coffee. It's getting dark. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark, but just got home from work. Figured I'd get a couple of these done. So I got my thing. Boom. Around that ice block. I have about an inch on either side of the square pail. This was just an old uh, muffin mix pail. Can't have enough pails when you're living off the grid for water and for waste, for food, for everything. It's just super, super handy. Nothing beats it. I'm to try and make sure I always get pails that had a food product in them of some kind so that I know that they're sterilized and they never didn't contain any petroleum or petroleum products whatsoever so we don't get sick or the animals don't get sick because I carry a lot of their water in these pails. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just filling this baby up. That block's right in the center. It has about... Uh, an inch on the one side of wood shavings and two inches on the other side just because the bucket is square and the ice block is rectangular yeah I just pack a lot in boom, boom. Boom, boom. like that pat it down again you want lots on the top because once you zap this all together it's like gonna cut through the bag. She found out. Any time. I get a little shaky. The first bag. All I do is take the, uh, the ears on it. Tie it up tight. I've gotten pretty good. Not good. Quick doing this. So I've done 65 of them already. Take your second bag. Give it a, a little stretch. They don't stretch much in this fold. Very important. I've said this before. Keep your tape in your pocket or it'll freeze and you'll pull it and it'll snap and it'll bug you. It'll drive you crazy. And as you can see, my hands are red, almost purple. That's because they're cold. And you want to get this done as quick as you can. Grab your bag. All the corners. Make sure that, that whole bag is getting taped up. Because if this doesn't work and it leaks, it's a big mess in there. I'd rather everything be contained within the bag if it doesn't work, you know? But it'll work. Open. It'll work for a certain amount of time anyway. Tape it up, spin the last little top, tuck it in, spin it again, snap it. You, my friends, have yourself, which would have been a $4.50 ice block, now just turned into about a 10 cent ice block, if that. So now, boom, come over here, into the ice house, crawl through the small opening, plop her down, share in nice. There you go folks, you have an above ground ice house with uh, insulated blocks 
And the cool thing is that when it does melt, I have a ton of wood shavings that I can use in my chicken coop or for chicken litter. Um, just set them out, dry them out, and away they go, or for the compost pile. So there you have it, folks. That's my attempt at walking ice and having some food preservation in the summertime in the hot months. Might not work, might work, but I want to share it with you. Um, I don't want to go to a, to a solar fridge or a propane fridge. I don't want that stuff on my property. I want to keep this as off the grid, traditional off the grid as I possibly can. Um, like I said, I just want to be able to uh, provide for myself as much as, as possible. Have some refrigeration, light power, um, nothing crazy with the solar. You know, I've been here almost three years now, I guess two and a half years, and uh, people always ask, well, you're getting more solar, you're getting more wind generation, you're, you're going to get more and more and more. Well, if I wanted more, I would have just bought a house in town or in the city, or I just wouldn't have done this at all. This is the adventure of this, is trying to figure this all out um, without over-consuming or relying too much on uh, mechanics. The mechanical side of things, it always breaks. I don't want it to break. I want it to be as easy as I can. Anything mechanical I add to this whole process, it just seems to screw up and cause me headaches. Simpler the better and more fun. Okay, folks, I got to go. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I'll try and get back to you. And uh, once again, enjoy the journey. We love you.